morning children how are you all i hope that you are fine so let us study about electoral politics in elections sir you know that elections will be held in india in that election sir you know that who will get the majority seat there they will form the government who will get the majority vote they can form them suppose if they won't get the majority seat then who will rule the country that the coalition government they can be what is coalition government if one party get the many seats but not get the majority as for the majority they won't get the seat but they are leaning when we when uh, consider about other parties they vote some leadership or they vote some more seat so that this party can form the government with the help of these minor parties so many other parties are there with their support they can rule that we can call it as coalition government there that we can call it as coalition what is coalition government the coalition government means uh, uh, those who vote many seats uh, they join with the small parties and these small parties will support this party and together with their help they can rule the country that is called the coalition government but what is the main drawback of this coalition government once this coalition government is formed they always think about the interest of the minority parties why if they did not think about the minority parties those who are giving support to this party they are not considering about this minority party and they put forward their policies and laws in the country that times this that the minority party they did not know about this policies definitely this minority parties they withdraw support from this party if they withdraw support from this party definitely what will happen sir this party may fall down the government may fall down so there will be greater chance in the coalition government there the government may fall down there are great chances are there why because the minority always give more importance to minority parties also minor parties also otherwise they may withdraw support if they withdraw support definitely that government may fall down so what is what we give more importance to the minority parties by forming a government which government then coalition government if coalition government will be formed definitely they will give more importance to minor parties also otherwise minor parties will withdraw support and the government may follow re-election may conduct or so by election sorry by election may conduct in order to avoid such a situation coalition government always careful about these minor parties and without their interest they go to rule there is that is a major problem in our country if once the coalition government comes the minor parties they may stand for silly silly reasons for this party that time they have to always look into this minor parties so that they can't rule independently they can't rule independently why because they always favor this minor parties otherwise minor party may withdraw uh, withdraw their support that that party may fall down the government may fall down so by election may conduct so interim government may comes uh, comes to power in interim government means in between this government if any other government formed that we can call it as interim government coalition what is coalition government here what is the difference between coalition government and interim government coalition government here means uh, those who get to vote many seats they get the help of the minor parties if they form the government that is called the coalition government what is interim government in between suppose the minor parties they withdraw support and this government falls down another government comes to power that is that we can call it as interim government that is interim government because they did not complete the duration by years maybe three years after this is called up and government fall down that time they can't they can't form the government another party comes to power with the help of other minor parties so that the government we can call it as interim government only three two years balance two years they will have to meet them the next year after that the next election may conduct so that next election also will conduct after it's the next election conduct after duration a year after it may the election will conduct so that you understood that what is interim government what is coalition government but uh, uh, who can stand and who can rule independently without considering about the minor parties they can rule um, developmental activities and policies who the majority those who vote the majority seat definitely they can rule rule our country without the help of this minority because they proved the 
Though they have proved a majority seat, they have proved, they have proved the majority seat so that they can rule the country without the help of the minor, minor parties. They can uh, rule independently, they can rule independently without the stress of this uh, minor parties. They can rule it, they can go forward their policies, they can go forward, forward their policies and lose no laws. I hope that you understand. I hope that you Elections every every five years and in India normally after five years election will be held there and those who vote majority they form the government there. Next is election manifesto. What is election manifesto? Election manifesto here means each and every political parties the what they did they want they want to give promises to the people. So these promises they will return in a book or we can say they will return in a booklet that we can call it as a manifesto. In that manifesto, what are the things they are going to do? What are the things they are going to do? What are the promises they are putting in front of the people that we can call it as manifesto? Manifesto that is very important, very important to know about the voters. Voters, they will look into this manifesto and they can understand that the, the, what these leaders, the political leaders, what they how, uh, how they can hold the country, what are the promises they are going to give, they are going to give, or what are the things they have done through these manifestos, they can understand this and there. They can look up after when once they come to power, the voters can check whether they are going to uh, going properly as per the manifesto. As per the manifesto, they are going to know they can recheck it. Suppose if they are not ruling as per the manifesto and uh, once they come to power, if they forget the promises, definitely next election they may hold. Normally in India, you know that uh, five years duration of another party nobody will come. Why? Because these uh, political parties did not take the promises when once they come to power. But the uh, promises is like a promise that never never fulfill the promises. So that next party that may comes to power. Who will give more importance? Who will give more importance in the election? If I ask such a question, who will in India who will give more importance in the election? Uh, the, the, the poor people, the poor people and the common people, they give more importance in the election. Why? Because they think that uh, if the government falls down, another government may comes down, comes uh, if uh, the, the ruling party may uh, lose power and another party may come to power, they will do something for these common people and poor people. So that uh, these poor people and the common people, they cast a uh, vote. All members, they will go and cast a vote. But uh, rich people, they will not consider much importance in India. Rich people, they won't consider. Who will come to power? Rich people, they have no benefit at all. Uh, so that they never think about the election and the importance. But the poor people and the common people, they give much importance in the election. All the members, they will cast a uh, Vote also. In India, situation is like, I like that. But when we consider about the consider about the US, US vote like that. Hispanic people, only less number of Hispanic people will cast a vote. And uh, this black and white people, black and white people, they may cast a vote. Hispanic people rarely will go and get cast a vote. That is the situation in US. But in India, who had great expectations? Poor people and common people, they had great expectations. About the uh, about the election, they have a great expectation of election. That is why almost all the members uh, in the poor section as well as common people they will cast a uh, That you understand the difference between uh, election in USA and election in India. Indian people, the poor and the common people, they are very much important in election. But in uh, American situation is uh, not like this. Many people less the power of the by black and white. White, they will cast the vote. After the second death, the uh, black will cast the vote. Spanish people less than probably, they cast the vote. That is the situation in India. So, uh, now we will understand about the election manifesto. Election manifesto is some of the promises that will be written in a booklet and that will be kept in front of the land and in front of the voters. Voters, they cast the vote uh, as, per, as per their promises. Once they come to power, they will fulfill your vote. That voters will check it after if they did not keep the, once they come to power, if they did not keep that promise uh, of the next election they will lose uh, in the next uh, election. Another difference is the uh, US and India is in India, in India you know that uh, once the uh, ruling party comes to power, 
next election this ruling party will not get any seat at all they may lose power another another party may come to power or only in india but in america not like that in america you know that the ruling party rarely will lose rarely will lose in the election rarely only this america this party may lose election but in india not like that they have after five years of election they have after the completion of the completion of their rule definitely another party will comes comes to power comes to power in india that is the difference in america and in india next we want to know about voter list voter list that is very important suppose if i have id card if i have i have id card and uh, i want to cast vote with this id card if i go to the polling station and i want to cast vote but uh, they said that you can't vote why because your name is not in the voting station you have id card uh, and uh, everything you have but uh, your name is not there in the voting station definitely i can't cast vote if i want to cast vote definitely i want to check whether my name is there in the voting station if my name is there in the voter list the voter list so that i can cast vote otherwise i can't cast vote even though i have a voter id card um, i am following rules are to supply jas 18 years of age so so are the rules age and male or female they can cast vote cast for that id card also i have but uh, i can't cast vote because voter id is my name is there so check that whether your name is there in the voter list or not then only cast it vote next is next is we want to know about polling booth you know that poll what are polling booth the polling booth that is the area that we want to cast what polling booths are the areas that we can cast it vote in polling booth you know that people they are going polling booth there there, there will be a big who is there they have to keep that queue and they have to follow the queue and the polling station very offices are there they will check the vote your name is there in the voter list if you have voter id card and other formalities after you will go to that secret place in that secret place you will cast a vote and this uh, voting has been a secret secrecy is there in voting why this voting has secrecy because this is confidential and there will be secrecy in that voting so um, one person's vote that he can only cast and he can only know that whom he cast to vote he never reveal he never reveal whom he vote one thing another thing is that the voter never say that say that to others that i cast to vote for this person this party so that you will also cast to vote he can't say because he can't reveal his identity which party he vote next thing is that he can't force any other voters to cast to vote for his party that also the voters they can't do such a thing also moreover while going to the vote he never keep the symbols of so political parties have symbols symbols are there for political parties each and every political party they have symbols he never kept it and he spoke at the symbols of that political parties after vote he wrote about the race is the symbol uh, this is my symbol after that after the vote also secrecy is there secrecy is there after the vote also he will not such a such a thing that kinds of things will be uh, taken also very serious and election commission can take a serious action moreover while casting while casting vote he never uh, never destroy any materials he never destroy any materials like wallet books or that paper or anything like that he never uh, do such a kinds of things that will be taken very seriously by the election commission so that you are sure about the wallet what is next next polling booth also you want to show the next is wallet box what is wallet box sir you know that ballot box that only we kept to vote in ancient time uh, india mainly depend on ballot boxes there will be a box in that we can cast we want to put the names of that voter uh, with the symbols and afterwards uh, we hold it and kept in that box that will be secrecy is there whom we cast vote nobody knows in counting only that who will get the majority who will you know, become the leaders who will become the power rulers that let only decide so that is called ballot box now the importance of ballot ballot box is not much importance now now uh, this much of importance that goes down the importance of ballot box that goes down in place of this ballot box now introduce e e m 
What is EVM? Electronic voting machine. EVM here means a electronic voting machine. What is EVM? Electronic voting machine. In that electronic machines, electronic voting machines, you can cast it. It's very easy to cast it. What the electronic voting machine is there? In that machine, uh, whom you want to cast vote, you can put the button, press, just press that button, so that the beam sound will appear, so that you cast the button and you can vote. Suppose if it is connected with the VV pattern, what is VV pattern? What is vehicle paper voting to time? If suppose if it is connected with the VB part, so, so that we can understand that whom you cast it, whom I cast it, whom I cast vote, I can I can understand through this what is verifiable paper audit trial VB part. In that through that I can understand that I can make sure ensure that whom I cast vote. That is VV part. Next step, now you understand about VV part. Next step, postal order. What is postal order? So, so many you know that in India, for election, election process, many offices are needed. Many offices are needed for the election process. Many offices. Whom they find this office and offices? This government, government, those who are doing government jobs, they will be appointed are in the election voting, they will be appointed election voting. What is election voting? During the time of the elections, sir, they have they have to maintain the postal, they have to make ballot votes, they have to maintain uh, the electronic voting machine in the proper uh, order. So that every, that will be arranged by this uh, these uh, people. These uh, government uh, workers uh, they will do these kinds of election work. They will go for election. Once they will go to go for election work, they have to do with this work sincerely. That time, suppose voting day itself, they will be in that polling station. Then how they will cast the vote? Their polling station may be far away from their from, uh, from far away from this uh, polling station. They, they, their duty may be in the uh, but a uh, they have job. They have job to Pallu, but a uh, duty may be in Trivandrum uh, or Trivandrum. That time what they will do? They will do their work, the election duty they will do. That time they can't cast a vote. Then you may ask them, how they, how can they vote? That time they, they have duty. In night time only they can, even after only they can come to vote. Then, then how could they will cast a vote? You may ask them. These people, they can cast a vote. That vote we can call it as postal vote. Through postal, postal, through postal system or postal vote they can cast a vote. This also found a door in the postal vote also found a in the elections. So postal vote also helps, uh, helps uh, to count, uh, count the vote. Uh, after the counting only we can understand how many postal voter casted, how many uh, vote vote uh, as postal voter, so that you can understand. Next is the political parties. What is the importance of political parties in the elections? Definitely political parties have an important role in the elections. They can, they can sit in the polling station, they can check whether everything is going, permission or everything is going in a better manner or not. They can check. If any complaint is there, if they find that any kind of malpractices happened in that polling station or any other parties, they may, they may do malpractice. Definitely, these political parties can interfere and they can complain to election commission. They can complain this matter to election commission and they can use the electronic media as, as a proof. So they can record mobile. Through their mobile, they can record it. They can record the events, what events that happens in that uh, that they can record in their mobile. Through that mobile, they can record it and that evidence should be sent to as a proof, they can send it to the election commission. So that election commission can take a serious action against such a kind of practices. If threatening is there, or influencing the voters, or threatening voters, or giving money to the voters for getting voted. So such things that happen, if such things happen anywhere, all of the political parties, they can interfere, they can 
or they can take videos of the such incident and they can send it to election commission. But one thing you remember by sending election commission uh, that report should be genuine. Suppose uh, the one political party will win, they know it really. Uh, the one political party will win, they know it. Uh, suppose if they think that uh, this party will win, best method, uh, party tricks, we can play party tricks. Which party tricks uh, simply complain to the election commission that uh, so the other party, when the party is related, they did this important things. Without any proof, they uh, complain to the election commission. That trick will not be applied in election commission. Election commission need a solid proof. Election commission need a solid proof whether, whether the complaints are true or genuine. So genuine or proof a complaint will be accepted by the election commission. If any kind of false uh, if any kind of uh, false complaints uh, that will be sent to the election commission. Election commission will take serious serious and election commission will take action against such kinds of practices, such kinds of practices. The election commission will take serious action, action against such kinds of practices. If that complaint is done, that will be genuine and that there will be solid proof. So that you know also about the political parties. So political parties they play an important role in forming the government also. Political parties must register in the election commission and then they have, once they register they will get a recognition. After getting recognition only, they can contest in the election. Once they contest, uh, contest in the election, sir, they have to submit a statement. What is statement? That affidavit. That statement we can call as affidavit. What is affidavit? I have this much of property. I have this much of bank money. I don't have any kind of uh, any debt or any loan I took or not. For these kinds of things should be written in that uh, statement. This statement should be genuine and true. This statement, what the statement, that is called affidavit. This affidavit uh, that is uh, true and gen genuine. This, uh, if, 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 suppose if uh, election commission found that uh, the affidavit is wrong, definitely election commission will take uh, serious action against uh, such a kinds of incidents. And sometimes, uh, that uh, those who are contesting elections, uh, he, may, he may lose recognition and he won't uh, allow to uh, contest in the election. So, election commission can take a decision what to do. Election commission only decide uh, if any case or such things have happened. Election commission will decide what to do. So, now we will start to put it down. And party ticket, what is party ticket? Party ticket means one party that will be born and a voter and that part, party born and uh, this party is uh, recognized by election commission. So that uh, they can contest election. But uh, uh, these those who candidate will be determined by the political parties. Political parties determines the candidate. Suppose uh, more in India, uh, several, uh, no, that in most cases, in several cases, in most cases, you can see that. Rich people, they will contest the election. How this happened? Political parties, they give much money. They give money to these uh, people and they want to contest the election. They think it has a party trick. They consider this as a dirty party trick. Why rich people, they will give money and to contest the election. So that the chances of so many poor and innocent people, they, uh, they are ready to work for the welfare of the people. They won't get a chance. Only rich people, they come to power. How? Because these rich people, they may give money to these political parties and they, they can't understand the election. So that who will come to power? Wrong candidate will come to power. That is the problem. Who will come to power? Wrong candidates will come to power. You may think, see, wrong candidates will come to power. What is the problem? They never think about the welfare of the people. They lose the wealth. They lose the wealth, they live luxuriously, they never think about the importance of the peoples and they never do any developmental activities. So, right candidate only will come to power. If such kinds of things are noticed by election commission, election commission will seriously take action of such a things. So, you understand about the party things. Next is independent parties. What are those who are called independent parties? Independent parties means 
they can contestant the election without the help of any political parties they can contestant the elections if they want to want to contestant the election they can submit the affidavit affidavit to uh, the election commission so that election commission can accept it and they can contestant the election without the help of the political parties uh, suppose if they get a majority seat definitely they can also independent candidate any independent party can form the government there. such a system uh, in india we are going to see that independent parties never comes to power never uh, in, in, in india you will see that independent parties become the ruling party you will see but independent is independent candidates get many seats in india but they did not form any government because that much of majority they did not get independent candidate Majority. And what is going on that uh, suppose if people are fed up with these uh, political parties and independent candidates, uh, that uh, they can cast nota. What is nota? Nota. What is that nota? Nota. Nota order. What is nota order? Nota what we say? None of the above. Not above or none of the above. It means that uh, one list is there. Contacts uh, one person. is a symbol another person symbol party like that it will be in the uh, electronic voting but the last uh, nota is uh, none of that means that uh, the people are fed up with the above candidates uh, and they don't want to cast vote for the above candidates that vote we can call as nota vote that is that uh, nota vote means that uh, people are not interested in the above candidates people are uh, not interested in the above none of the above they are not interested in the above that above that the big list is there not interested so that is the nota so independent parties you know, understood it very well now next we want to know about what is rights what are the rights enjoyed by the voters voters they are free they can cast a vote to any party they can cast to any person they can look into consider about all the candidates and from that all the candidates who will be who will be better for them they they will get a choice so candidates they will decide who will decide what rights will decide the right candidates what rights of vast rights they can choose they can select the government they can choose the candidates they can cast up and ask for their will and wish so voters they can cast their votes voters will select their voters will elect and voters can cast according to their will so that is possible in a democratic country that but it is not possible in monarchy and other form of government monarchy in form of monarchy in some monarchy form of election will be better who will win only this voters uh, will win because no parties are there no parties are there that is why election simply contest understand in some countries only one party china consider about china. like that in some countries only one party only one party two parties and multi parties one party two parties multi parties in our country multi parties many parties so some countries us and britain two party but in india we are we are multi party system China one party like that uh, you can understand that uh, different party. But uh, if one party or two party, what is the use of contesting election? No choice of these voters. Voters will not get any voting rights. So voters are not getting proper, uh, not getting any kinds of choice. But in India, voters have vast, vast powers and they have how can they get cast? Uh, then now you can understand about the voters' rights. Next time. election commission what is the duty of election commission election commission has vast powers and election commission enjoys uh, enjoys vast power how they enjoy vast power because the election commission will be appointed by the president once this president elected the, 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 the election commissioner so this uh, election commissioner can uh, rule independently independently he can rule and he can look after all these things when what are the things this election commission will uh, do announce the date proclaim the result 
and the candidates checking the affidavit of the candidate, checking the affidavit of the candidate. So, uh, if any malpractice that happened or not, these all these things checked by you. Election Commission will check all these things. Election Commission will check all these things. They will consider all these things. Uh, then only uh, they will take appropriate action. Suppose affidavit contains full of false information, definitely that candidate can't contest in election. So uh, who will take action? Election Commission will take uh, action. Even court will not criticize uh, this election. So election commission was first step. Next is the code of conduct. What is code of conduct? Election commission will say that these, 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 these are the laws. Each and every candidates will follow this code of conduct. Code of conduct here means that there will be a law that will be followed by the candidates. Those who are contesting the election they will be considered as candidates. Once they come to power, they form the government, they become the ruling party, they never use government vehicles for propagation of their political parties. For the propagation of their political parties, so they never use these government vehicles. Next thing is that they then after, uh, after announcing the date of the election, sir, they, they never lay foundations in the states, MBs, MLAs, they never lay foundation stones. Once the election date finalized, they won't um, do such kinds of things. They never lay foundation stones of the buildings or houses or whatever they be there. Next thing is that the Code of Conduct says that they never use church, mosque, temples to get to vote. They never go to temple and as if he belongs to the same community, never ask the Hindu people that you cast a vote for me because I am a Hindu, I am part of you, so that you cast a vote. Never say that people will decide, people will decide whom we can cast a vote. That is against the Code of Conduct. Conduct. Next is that uh, this candidate uh, affidavit will be true and genuine. If affidavit is that contains full of false or wrong information, information definitely you will get a punishment or she will get a punishment of election. So election commission was vast provides uh, and election commissions uh, within a form of conduct uh, all the candidates should obey the code of conduct. Next step. Uh, Campaign slogans. You know that each and every party, each and every party, they have campaign slogans. You know that Indira Gandhi, during the time of Indira Gandhi, she raised the slogan that whatever the slogan raised by Indira Gandhi, Giri Bi Hadao, Giri Bi Hadao, that was the slogan raised by during the time of Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi raised the slogan Giri Bi and dear children, let me conclude this uh, topic electoral politics. I hope that you are thinking about elections, then importance of election manifesto and vote access and voting group, then importance of ballot box and electronic voting machine, EV part and postal vote of political parties, importance of political parties and party share ticket and independent parties, then vote rate size and election commission, all of the campaign slogans. Then challenges to be in the elections. Then India and USA, how the election will be held. I hope that you understood. Thank you. Thank you very much.